Hi there, Steve of Steve K's Vaping World. And I just wanted to do a really quick video to kind of give you a quick overview, a high level view, if you will, of this right here, which is Johnson Creek's new Via. This is the first e cigarette kit from the company who normally specializes in smoke juice. Um, they were one of the first e liquid makers in the US. Now they've decided to branch out into selling their own line of e-cigarette kits after uh, what they said is about a year in development. So give me just a second, we'll open up the box and go through the features real quick on the Johnson Creek. Okay, now we have the Via out of the box here. Um, first thing I noticed about it is it's just beautiful. It's really one of the best looking kind of mid-range Ego class devices I've seen. This has kind of a soft touch textured doesn't really feel rubberized like some of the egos. It's a little more subtle than that. It feels like a very kind of sat metal on it. Um, the cone slides right off rather than screwing. They use silicone here so it holds on friction. Also, their cardos are just pretty too. Just the whole kit kind of has a really good fit and finish to it. One thing that's interesting is, you know, this definitely looks like an ego, but if you put it up next to this is a 650 milliamp Ego, for uh, Ego C specifically. This is also 650 milliamp. As you can see, quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure if that was an aesthetic thing or what. Interestingly, this is lighter than this. So I'm not sure, maybe aluminum versus steel. I'm not sure, but it's really a light device. Um, some of the other features, cap comes off. Also lights up when you hit it, pretty neat. Cap comes off, USB pass-through, charging, um, three-click on-off. Basically, the story is they kind of completely designed this from the ground up to work with their juices. Um, even the Cardo is supposed to be designed specifically to better use their stuff. Um, 3.7 volt. I'm not sure what the real output is. It's regulated like an Ego, so when I put my little inline regulator here, it sort of pulses. Um, but otherwise, I'm just really impressed with the overall fit and finish, as well as the packaging and the documentation that came with it. They did a great job. Um, I'll get some more into the technical details and what I think the pros and cons of this guy are in the written review, which should drop um, this Monday, the 21st, 2nd, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, this is Steve, Steve K's Vaping World, and I'll see you later. Read my review.